to drive sales successfully, it's not enough to be just an expert of negotiation. You must be able to identify customer needs, present the product, and be able to handle objections properly. And most importantly, know how to analyze the numbers. To see the big picture, you need analytics. It will help you understand how well your business process is performing at the moment and then prepare a sales growth plan based on that. Ammo CRM has a special tool for just these analytics, the dashboard, where you can customize personal reports to suit your business needs. Let's take a closer look at one of the setting options that you can begin with. The dashboard is the main tool for collecting statistics in your account. Here you can see all the key indicators, both operational employee data and the current sales plan progress. In Ammo CRM, you can tailor the event reports to see data that you need most and display it on the dashboard in real time. To enter the dashboard, just click on its icon in the menu on the left. Conveniently, it's the top one. On the main screen, we can see the account name, select the period for which we want to see the statistics. And done. Now all statistics for the specified period are displayed. We can also see the statistics of all users, including myself, and we can select an employee or a user group. Say we need all the data. Boom! Next, we can see the statistics for the digital pipeline. If you've got several pipelines, you can switch between them. New is the number of leads created in the pipeline during the selected period. On the right, we can see all the stages of the digital pipeline, and under the stage name, we can see the number of leads at each stage and their budget. We can go directly to the list of leads here. Keep in mind that if a user has limited permissions, they will only see the leads that they are set as responsible for, or the leads of the user group that they are included in. Here I can see all the leads that have passed to the stage and their budget. This part may seem a bit confusing. If you see a minus sign, it means that the number of leads that have been transferred to another stage is bigger than the number of leads that has reached this stage. For example, if three leads reach the stage and six have gone, the indicator will show minus three. And if two leads have reached the stage and two have left, the number will be zero, and so on. We can also see all the lost leads, that is, leads that left the stage to the closed lost stage. Moving to the end of the pipeline. Here we can see the number of successfully won leads, or clients, that have been made during the selected period, the number of lost leads, and their budget. If need be, we can also go to the leads list from here. There is a search bar you can use to locate any leads, clients, contacts, and companies. Type in the name of the lead and boom, we've got him. Click to go directly to the card. If we want to see what happens with the account, we can see all the events in chronological order. We can see when the event happened, who organized it, any entity, we can open its card, any entity name, event type, and before or after values. For example, an event like this. Stage change, the value changed from offer sent to invoice sent. On top of that, we can filter events by period, by managers, by entities, by event type, by value before and after. All right, let's try finding all the warm leads that were just about to make a purchase, but changed their minds at the last moment. Here we choose event type, sales stage changed, value before, stages offer sent, invoice sent, value after stage, closed, lost. Let's save the filter for quick searching in the future, might come in handy later on. Select click to apply. Great, the events were filtered. The dashboard is fully customizable and can suit your particular needs. We can even change how the dashboard looks. Select font color, widget theme, and the background image. Yay for the dashboard looking just right. Now let's arrange the widgets and remove those that you don't need. Now we're setting the dashboard the way that is the most convenient for us. Note that you can arrange the widgets however you like via drag and drop. We can rename the widget, choose the mode. Number shows the number of new and overdue tasks. Chart groups and compares metrics, for example, by the responsible user or the types of tasks. List. 
It shows five to eight leads, customers, contacts, companies, tasks, and recent events. If you want to apply the settings to all users on your account, mark the checkbox right here and save. Now we need the sales statistics, key employee indicators, and general statistics about the work in the system. For the sales statistics, we need widgets. Goals. This one shows the percentage of the completed sales plan at the moment, depending on the budget or the number of one client set in the goals. A good question here would be, how do you even set the sales goals? The answer is simple. Move to the stats section, goal report, click on set goals. Set the period for which we want to set the goal, month, quarter, or year. We can set a goal by budget or quantity of one leads during the period. The goal can be set for a group of employees or for each employee separately. Let's set the goal for the sales department. $6,400 and 27 clients. The plan was evenly distributed among the managers. You can also edit it if necessary. Click to save. The goal is set, moving back to the dashboard. Lead sources. This is the number of leads that come from the sources that I've connected. Corporate email, web forms, social networks, messengers, and online chat. Do bear in mind, however, the website form and live chat are built-in sources in AMO CRM. Any statistics you need can be displayed in the dashboard. You can add any report of leads, customers and task sections, or add report by activities in the stats section. So let's say I need to track the number of new leads over a certain period of time. Let's create a widget. Go to the stats section, activity log. In the filter, select the type of event, leads created. Apply. Select the number of leads, create a widget, add a title, choose the type, number, and create. All you have to do is go to the dashboard settings. A widget has appeared. Nice. Done and done. A new widget is in. What other widgets are generally needed for sales statistics? Of course, the number of new customers. Let's create the widget. Go to the stats section. In the filter, select the type of event. New customer create a widget. Add a name and choose the type. Done. We should also add the number of sent invoices. Again, go to the lead section, filter, invoice, sent stage. Create a widget, set the name and type, set the location, and that's it. In the widget, I can see the number of issued invoices and their budget. And one more widget that I will need is the rejections widget. The number of closed, lost, leads. We can add this widget by following the very same procedure. Go to the lead section, select the closed, lost stage in the filter. Create a widget, set the name and mode, place it in the dashboard and click save. And thus we've added all the widgets that you might need for sales statistics. Moving on to the key employee metrics now. Overdue tasks. The number of tasks that weren't completed by the scheduled time. Set it for all our managers. You can click the numbers of the counters and now we can see the overdue task list. Current tasks. The number of tasks for the sales department. Here we can also observe data for the present time and for a given period. Leads without tasks. Number of the leads for which the manager hasn't planned the next action. And their budget too. We can also see the list of leads if it's necessary. Now let's add our awesome widgets. The head of the sales department should be aware of the manager that doesn't complete the task in time and leaves it for the future. Let's create a widget just for this pesky occasion. Delayed tasks. Go to the sets section. In the filter, select the type of events, task deadline changed. Create a widget, set the name and the type, put it in the dashboard and save it. Another widget is ready to shed light on our sales process. I can see the number of delayed tasks for the selected period and can move them to the list. We also need to see the number of leads that are in progress. Add a widget, leads in progress. Go to the leads section. Select all the stages except incoming leads, closed one and closed lost. Create a widget. Choose the chart type to be able to see the number of leads for each manager. Save it. 
Great, now we have all the statistics to track employee effectiveness. Please note that I meant to leave some space between the sections for my own convenience. You can organize the widgets in one section. Now let's turn to the consolidated report about the work in the system. Why don't we track our net promoter score? Go to the settings, communication tools section, turn on assess the net promoter score. Now, at the end of each chat, the system will ask the user to put a rating from one to 10 and collect the statistics. In the net promoter score, we can see average rating of the work quality in the sales department, percentage of positive, neutral and negative rates, and also the percentage difference between positive and negative ratings. The prospective sales widget is based on the current number of leads and the budget in the sales pipeline. It doesn't depend on the period or the set goals. The longer you use the system, the better it will suit your business scheme and predict sales. We've also added the message report so that we can see the number of incoming and outgoing messages for the selected period and the number of messages on social networks and messengers. Processed conversations, the number of responded chats separated by the manager. And thus we've done quite a lot of useful work and our dashboard is now fully operational and ready to help in the day-to-day -day management of our awesome sales team. So far we added all necessary event widgets, put them in convenient order to track the key indicators, learned how to customize and track the data we need. Now all the important data is always at hand, updated live at your disposal. Do keep an eye on it if, and if you can't, there is our customizable notification system, which we will cover in our next videos. Muchos gracias. We'll see you next time.